Hey guys, it's me, the Don Fanatic, and welcome to week two of the PBA. Now, I've just realised this is my third take of trying to do this, and uh, my opponent <laughs> that I battled in week two has since dropped from the league. Um, so all of the information on the document is is incorrect. So uh, this this isn't great. Um, let me just see if I can find uh, anything in the Discord to try and make this accurate. But um, we did play Endless in week two, but they have now since dropped from the league, like I said, and uh, Lucas has joined in instead. So therefore, I don't actually remember what Endless's team was called, um, so I apologise for that. But, but we weren't playing Lucas, who is now the coach of the Paradise Protocol. We were playing Endless uh, week two, who was the coach at the time. Because of that as well, there have been uh, a lot of changes uh, for the team. And I'm now just going back through to see if I can uh, actually identify what on earth has gone on with this team. Okay, never mind. Lucas didn't actually say what he was dropping. So I can't remember what was in the old squad. Um, but the things to be scared of are the Origin Dialga, which is probably on Fraud Watch, uh, a Shifu Single Strike, and Terra in Namorous, which was Fairy when I fought it, but now it's uh, Ground for some reason. Um, and I think pretty much the rest of the team has changed because it was a new coach they were allowed to make as many changes as they wanted um, so what I see on the board now is not reflective of what I built for so I can't even show you the team that I built for sadly um, but just remember the top three probably going to gun because you know Origin Dialga, Shifu, Single Strike and Enamorous are threats in almost any game in any kind of like tiered league obviously this is kind of like an ubers link so it's it, it, you know those three are almost set to come every week so we've got to be mindful of those when we are prepping for the game this week but talking about that let's get into the team builder and discuss what we're bringing this week right so i'll be honest i built this team about two weeks ago uh and the team has changed so i'm struggling to remember what i made these things for but we'll go over what we have got in some kind of detail so first up is going to be the chi yu uh, with a choice scarf. Now my opponent did have a Keldeo on their draft, which is probably one of the more um, the one of the better Chiyu kind of checks out there. But even then, Chiyu gets psychic. So if I catch that thing with the psychic, uh, that's going to be in a lot of trouble. My opponent did also have a Tentacruel. Now that I think about it, which also could be kind of like a check to the Chiyu. Um, but again, that's why we're on psychic. Without either of those, the fire is incredibly free into this team. Um, I'm running Scarfed because I don't, uh, and I'm running Modest with very little speed investment because of the speed tiers of the team at the time, um, the only thing that I'd have to really fear would be Choice Scarfed uh, Tentacruel, which doesn't seem very realistic um, to come at all, uh, and the fact I'm Modest Max Special Attack with Overheat means I can one-shot Dialga Origin if it's not Max HP Max Special Defense. Which is gross, which kind of highlights, you know, how much everything else is going to do, because obviously I am Terrifier as well. So even Terrifier overheat into a, you know, bulky Keldeo will do like half, which is disgusting. But if I make that prediction and click Psychic, that thing's pretty much as good as dead at that point. So that's Chiyu this week. It's here just to click the fire buttons and uh, do as much damage as I can. Next on the list is going to be Clod Sire. Now, Clod Sire was an interesting one this week because it was a real mix up between Water Absorb and Unaware again. Um, we decided to go for a Water Absorb because my opponent, like I mentioned, did have Tentacruel and they do have a Keldeo. Now, the best thing that Keldeo can hit me with is Icy Wind if I am running the Water Absorb, and Tentacruel can't really hit me with anything. Um, so, bringing Water Absorb to Clod Sire shuts down two of my opponent's Pokemon almost immediately. Um, I'm slowly remembering that my opponent had Landorus Incarnate as well, which is a problem for my Clod Sire, which is why I'm running the Liquidation uh, on this set. Mainly because if I was running Earthquake and Sludge Bomb, that thing came in for free every single time and could click a button, and I didn't really like Landorus that much on this team. Um, and I didn't want to give it like a free chance to click like a substitute or something like that. Um, so that's why we're running Liquidation. Heavy Duty Boots just to avoid taking any kind of like hazard damage because I am bringing Spin this week, but I don't know whether that Spin is going to last too long. Um, so we are running pretty much max HP, max special defense, with a little bit in attack just to do as much damage as we can. But otherwise, pretty generic, you know, getting up our rocks because my opponent does have a lot of things that are 
not in, well, yeah, immune to like the spikes moves. Um, so we are going to run Stealth Fox instead, which I feel probably does better over the long run, and then recovers health the longevity of the Cod Sire. So that's the second Pokemon this week. Next on the team is going to be the big fish, Palafin. Now I didn't bring it last week, um, and this week I feel like it has somewhat of a better matchup, although not great. I did mention that my opponent does have the Keldeo and the Tentacruel, which is fine because we are running Zen Head, but that's like the move that will break things for me. We are running Flip Turn so we can uh, maintain momentum. Jet Punch to kind of like revenge kill the Landorus, potentially an Amorous too, and then Drain Punch to help do some big damage to the Dialga and to regain some health because I am kind of like a slow, bulky Palafin. I don't think I really need the speed outside of... Uh, Potentially Dialga, and that that could have like this could be like an issue in the game, um, but I think with the kind of like natural bulk of Palafin uh, when it's in its hero form, um, I might be able to tank here, especially if it's already like minus two, for example. Then that should be easy. Um, otherwise, I can just kind of flip turn on this team because yes, like I said, Keldeo and Tentacruel probably are the answers to this thing, but Zen Headbutt is a big thing they're going to have to consider. I'm out of max attack. So off 160 base attack, that is going to be doing a lot of damage um, to my opponent. You know, even a neutral hit, that's still going to hit quite hard. So that's going to be Palafin this week. The fourth Pokemon this week is going to be Tornadus Ferian. Um, had a really, well, should have had a really good sharing last week, but sadly didn't. But it does have a great matchup again this week. Uh, we are running like some kind of like offensive but bulky AV set in an attempt to try and help with a Landorus. Which obviously could still be running Rock Slide, which could be an issue, uh, but also to kind of help with the Dialga. Um, we are running Bleak Wind Storm just for strong stab, U turn for momentum, knock off to get rid of any items, and Focus Blast to get rid of that Dialga, uh, or at least do a big chunk to that Dialga. Um, like I said, we're AV just to kind of help with the longevity of this thing. Recovery isn't really an issue with the amount of pivoting I do with this, so. Um, I think this is going to be quite a nice little mid-ground play each time, like the Landorus is going to be a threat, I've got something to try and deal with that, um, however that's also kind of like doubling up as a, to deal with something else my opponent had, so um, it, it, it's it's going to have a big role to play this week, it's going to be doing a lot of pivoting, it's going to be doing a lot of chips, it's going to be a lot of knocking off, trying to get rid of opponent's items, um, and just kind of generally being a nuisance to my opponent this week. Next we're running Serena. Um, my opponent, I'm remembering again, did actually have Meow Skirada for this matchup, which was terrifying because a combination of Triple Axel, um, Flower Trick and Knock Off all hit my team for super effective other than two things. One being the Chi Yu, which is not especially bulky anyway on the physical side, and the last mod which we'll go over in a minute. However, Serena kind of can deal with this mod if it's not a nice type from, uh, from Protean. Um, we are running Power Whip just for kind of like strong stab, Rapid Spin to get rid of rocks, U-Turn for momentum because they're in the Dialga. I could have run High Jump Kick or something to that you know, sort of extent, but um, I kind of figured that the momentum would be nice uh, getting in like my Chi Yu for free each time and just click in a fire move is you know, going to do huge damage. So um, I felt like that was probably better overall. And then we are running the Synthesis to help kind of with the longevity of this Pokemon. We are running Heavy Duty Boots because it is my spinner, so we don't want this thing to be worn down before it gets the chance to spin. And I had to go mixed defensive in the end. I was full of physically defensive um, on this thing to help with the Meow Skirada. But actually, I thought I'd better put some special investment in here for the Landorus, which is probably going to come because looking at my team so far, it does pretty well into it. So that's kind of why I then decided to actually split the defences into this thing. So it's kind of like an overall generalist here, being a bulky annoying mon for my opponent, getting rid of hazards and just pivoting around kind of slowly to help get my more offensive threats into uh, the battlefield to kind of, um, by offensive threats I mean Chi Yu just to nuke, to nuke something. The final Pokemon on this team week, it, this team week? On the team this week is going to be Screen Tail. Um, this is my answer, and answer is a light word here, for uh, Meow Skirada. So Triple Axel, Flower Trick, and Knock Off pretty much hit my entire team for super effective damage, which isn't great. Um, so I'm hoping the fact that three of my team members this week went to Ice means that 
triple axe will be clicked, I will get three hits onto my screen tail and it will take as much Rocky Helmet chip that I can take on it, which then frees up things like the uh, Serena to maybe revenge good luck in U turn, uh, potentially Tornadus to get some kind of move off if it's not an ice type. If it isn't a grass type anymore, I can come in with the Palafin and Jet Punch and kill it that way. So, getting like three rounds of uh, Rocky Helmet Chip on the Ascarada is going to be huge for me. Uh, and if for some reason I'm able to T wave it, then that makes it even easier for me. We are running Wish as well, just to kind of help with the longevity of the Screamtail and my team. Um, and we've got Stomping Tantrum and Play Rough because while Screamtail isn't like the most offensive mod, uh, that kind of covers the team really nicely. You can do nice chip everywhere. Also, doesn't mean that actually when I do bring this into the Meowskarada, then actually I can hit it as well because there's no point in me coming in if I can't actually attack it in return. So that is the Screen Tail set this week. Its sole purpose is here to be for the uh, to be here, sorry, for the Meowskarada. So that's the team. Let me know in the comments below how you think this game is going to go. Make sure you do leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And I'll see you on the other side. Okay, guys, we're here for the battle. Week two of the PBA. Uh, spoilers, but we did have the most narrow of losses last week. 1-0 uh, loss to who? Slash who? Um, this week we're up against Endless and the New Jersey Devil Plumes. So going up against someone with, mascot, with the mascot of Vile Plume, my MVP in the PBL last season. Um, I felt like initially when I looked at the team I had a better matchup this week than I did last week. However, they have a Scarada, which outspeeds everything in my draft that isn't scarfed slash boosted in speed. Uh, and can hit everything super effective that isn't Screamtail. Um, so, yeah, that is really, really terrifying. And Landorus also as well, because I have a lot of things weak to ground. Um, Clodsire is huge this game. I cannot let Clodsire die. Um, and Scarf Chiyu pretty much obliterates everything that isn't Tentacruel. But Tentacruel isn't really an issue with Clodsire around. So, let's get into searching. I need to tell Endless that I am now searching. Uh, now searching. Good luck. Have fun. Got my calcs open. I've got my notepad open. And we'll search for the game. Let's go for... I don't know what theme we're going to go for. Let's go for... Uh, I like the Loyal Free song. We'll go with the Loyal Free. I mean, I like the Petra one more. I like the remix. But um, we'll, we'll go with this. Although I don't know if they're searching yet, so I might have more time to scroll through. So you know what, let's, let's... Petra run. There we go. I don't actually know if they're searching or not, and this is just going to be a waste of time. It's going to time out saying no one could be found, isn't it? Oh, no, they put searching, good luck, have fun. Uh, so, last week, who didn't say good luck? And I didn't get any good luck, so... This week, I'm going to get the luck, because Endless has said good luck. Right, please just don't have Meowskarada for whatever reason. Okay, there's Meowskarada. There's no Tentacruel. Holy shit. So, once Kelio goes down... Chiyu beats everything. Like... And I, I mean everything. Um, and this also makes Palafin way better. I am astonished there is no Tentacruel. I am perplexed by that. Um, are they going to lead Meowskarada? Probably. Um, we lead Torn. We could threaten the scarf, Torn. I, I think I'd live any, like, I, it, three hits of, uh, what's it called, triple axe will kill me. But um, if he leads me Ascarada, then I can go straight into my Screamtail, get the Helmet Chip, and then at that point, that thing's in range of, like, a Jet Punch, if they are not a Grass-type. So... I am so surprised. I should write this down. So Dialga is also a huge threat, by the way. Um, if he leads Dialga, that would be nice, because I'll just click Focus Blast. I'll miss, but I'll click it. So there's Um You've got Enamorous. You had Keldeo. You had Landorus. And what was the other one? What was the other thing that was there? Oh, Tinkerton. 
Start Lando. Right, so he could. Oh, hang on, I didn't. Let's clear the sets. Right, refresh. Now let's import, because I had like so many things. So I could have Icy Wind, right? I could have Icy Wind, which he has to fear. Um, I didn't expect this to lead. Uh, Tornadus, so Landorus, Varian. You're not fairy, are you? You're incarnate. Uber's wall breaker. Timid. Okay, I'm AV. But, like, I'm gonna click knock off, because then I can get rid of my fall. He's used her. Okay, so they're Scarf. They're Scarf Landorus, which is really nice to play around. They crit me, turn one. Excellent. You love to see it. So, this is Scarf. Do you go into Dialga now? Possibly. And I don't have a lot for Dialga. <laughs> like, I just don't have a lot. This is probably my Dialga answer. If it doesn't go Dialga, then they're losing an item on something, which is really nice. Um, I don't know what they'd go. They're not going to go Keldeo. They're not going to go Meow. Landris just kind of says Tink in Amorous of Dialga. So they go Tink. Okay. We knock off whatever item they had, which is the Ockerberry. So they now have to really fear the. Um, I, I go, I go Serena here in case they want to set up rocks or like Thunder Wave me or something. Um, I'm pretty sure that is that the play, or do I go into Clodsire? Or do I go you? No, I didn't go you. Uh, I go Serena, because if you want to get out of rocks, then I can spin a new turn out. Okay, the fact that I know... Okay, so you Thunder Wave, that's fine. Um, I don't mind this being Thunder Wave, it gives me a slow U-turn into Chi Yu now. And I click Terrifier, and something on my opponent's side dies. Uh, that's how this goes down now. You set up rocks, that's fine. Because I'll have an opportunity to spin at another point. Um, they'll see I'm not boots on Chi Yu, which is fine. Um, but their only switch is the Keldeo. So I'm going Chi Yu. I'm using this opportunity to click Terra Fire uh, and clicking a nuke move, I believe. Um, I could click Psychic, which I don't think will kill the Keldeo. Um, so let's just say your max HP. Because Keldeo is fairly bulky, but I would have thought Tentacruel is bulkier. Chi Yu. Terrifier. Keldeo. I mean, Psychic does two shot. Um. I could just click overheat, like Terra overheat here does 46 to 55 if they are max HP, max spider. So I could actually just click flame for her because um, like if they go Keldeo, I go, what's it called? If you go Keldeo, how much does this do? Uh, I had Fire Blast on here at one point over Psychic and if I had to click the Psychic button here, like if you're not for death, right? Psychic doesn't kill, but it does a minimum of 84%. So, yeah. And Keldeo can't recover health. I'm so surprised Keldeo came, to be honest. Right. That did. Yeah. I, I think it's max HP. I don't think it's... Um, I don't think... It's especially defensive. So it dies to overheat now, right? It dies to overheat. He doesn't know what item I am. 
he might know I'm modest. It could be... See, that could have been potentially a max roll on Timid. Let's have a look. Also, if this isn't speedy, so it could be speedy bulky with flip turn. I'm kind of hoping he clicks flip turn here. Um, because that gives me free clots eye. I'll get pain split. Okay. That's pretty cool. I'll give you that. Um, I didn't know this thing got pain, pain split. So if I click, I mean liquidation, I'm, I'm just getting my rocks up here, right? Like if you go, oh you taunt me, okay. There. Um, do you go Landorus now? You go hard into something. Okay, so this set is insane for my, like, against me. But go Landorus, right? So Dialga's a risky one. That's the Landorus, right? I predicted that, yeah. I predicted that correctly. Right, that's good. Um, we liquidation. Some good damage, to be fair. Um, do you click U-turn? Well, I could go into you. I think this is safer than going straight into the Serena, because I really need to get rid of rocks. Um, they could sludge bomb here, predicting me to go into the Serena. Like, Serena's my best answer for this. If you click the rock move, then fair, but they're not life orb. So, I think I live anyway. Plus, I can just pivot out, you know. Um, rocks are up, but... Um, if we regenerate, I'll be okay. I'm so surprised you're scarfed. I think this thing's in range of Jet Punch now on the Palafin. It's a Pain Split Taunt on Kelvio. I'm like, I'm so surprised, right, that that's the thing that they brought. So, so surprised. I just need to get Spin Off. And then things die. Like, Keldeo isn't switching anymore. It dies to two uh, flamethrowers. Going Meow Scarada. I'm going straight into Skibbity Riz. Like, you triple axle or you turn. Like, the chip on this thing is going to be huge. He probably, click he probably clicks you turn. And I probably could have predicted that. Triple axles. Hit me three times. Go on. Hit me three times. You're not protective pads. This is big. Chewed. So are you choice? I don't think you're you're not banded, that's for sure. Um Thunder Wave. So you're not gonna you're not gonna What do you go into on this? Probably Tinkerton, right? I'm gonna click Thunder Wave. You hard switch, which is fine. If you go Landorus, then there. But you don't. You go Tink, which is fine. And Thunder Wave you. And we keep this thing. They're going for Dialga Endgame. They must be. Uh, we're going to you. They could. I'm hoping they don't double. Because now I can spin my rocks away. Okay, Thunder Wave, that's fine. I'm going to click the spin. Because getting rid of these rocks is going to be so nice for me. Tinkerton Hammer did, like, nothing to me. Ugh. I'm trying to spin again. Um, I probably should have clicked Synthesis that turn. Play play I think it's spin. Are you going to set up rocks this turn? 
Und wir sind sechs. So I spin again, and this is this is my chance to get in Palafin. Because I can just use, I can flip turn out. Giga giga me. Go on, giga me. Please. Hammer me. Again, what are you going into now? Dim shifter. Is that the? Oh no! I don't like this at all. So no rocks are up, right? And so I'm you turning out. I, I'll be. I'm. I think I'll be slow. Now that Cardio bulk up. It's okay. Roll cup is fine because we go into the fish and we click overheat. And uh, this thing, like if if I don't kill it, it's then very very low dialga. Origin. Alga. Origin. Um, so if you're max HP, this does 82 to 97. We hit the overheat. Can I crit? You're probably max special defense or something. He's dead. <laughs> the Alga's dead. Long live Chi Yu. Okay. That's a huge threat gone. Um, they probably knew they had absolutely no switching to that thing. Scarf Chi Yu is actually terrifying at this point. Um, meow. If they come in Meow, I mean, they go Keldeo, right? They go Keldeo. God, Terra Chi Yu is actually nuts. Yeah, so you, you are always going to go Keldeo on this, right? Um, I'm going to get my Palafin set up. I feel like this is a good opportunity for me to get my Palafin set up. I don't think any. It's clearly a bulky Keldeo, so it's not going to be doing a lot of damage, right? Into Landorus. Meowscarada. I don't have my rocks up, right? I'm going hard into Screen Tail. Your click and flower trick, that's fine. I can then go out into my, what's it called? Serena. And see if you are, in fact. I don't know if flower trick makes contact. Feel like it doesn't. So I feel like this is going to be a roll, and I don't think it's a roll they're going to want to risk. It is a roll they're going to risk. Okay, so screen tail's gone. Um. So we go into this, right? And claim a kill on something. This is the name of the game now. So 
withdraw. Something dies. I could have put Psychic on that. How much does this do? Because that looks like a roll. Right, that looks like a roll. Um... It's a role that I'm not willing to take. I'm going out into this because it also covers the potential switch into the Ascarada. But I don't have a lot for the Ascarada now. So you paint split, right? So you don't have a switch in to Viewpoint Storm. There is no switch into Viewpoint Storm. And now this is in range of a fire blast. So I'm bleak wind storming. Screentail did its job getting its chip off on the Meowth. Yeah, so we're chipping this down. We hit. Your speed drops, not that that matters. Um You could try and thunder wave me here. If you stay in, I go Serena. If you switch, I get advantage. Because um, I'm going to get a slow U-turn. You're going to get your rocks up here. It's a mix-up between rocks and... Spin. Like, you could go Meow here, but I'll take the chip and sack this off, if I can spin. I wish I had Heat Wave. I, I nearly put Sludge Wave on for knockoff. Do you go into the Meow Scrada? No. The Oscar Rider would have been very risky. So we're going to Landorus. So we do spin. Not Landorus. Uh, what are you called? You are leftovers. Yeah? Okay. So you're not a flying move. You could. I mean, this gives me a free switch into Chi Yu. I get a slow U turn off, right? Into Chi Yu here. looking at what's left. You are terror. Are you terror on the sheet? Huh? Hold up, what? Is this the terror, Captain? Play rough. Got the U-turn on, which is nice. Oh, I get crit too. So I go into this and I click flamethrower. Because Meow Scarada can't actually kill this thing, I don't think. you into Enamorous. You're not Scarf, but let's just say on max HP. Flame Forest Order is 91%, so if you, what if they're max special defense? 69 to 82. You're not max special defense. There's no way. Out of anything that you could have brought, this would be your special defense of Mark Chi Yu. We go Flame Forest, something dies. You would draw. Sack the Tink, which is very nice for me. I 
So I think Psychic's pretty clean now, right? I also said Chi Yu is gonna. Is Chi Yu is what? Is it four and one for the season now? So Tink's gone. Yes, yeah, so you go Lando. Do I sack Serena now? Or is Torn the player? You're scarfed, so I don't think I don't think you're clicking a you could click a rock move here actually. I think Serena was the play, and I think I've just thrown away my Torn for no reason. Um But if he locks himself into a rock move, then Pod's free now. We can go PC Clod. Or we can go Palafin. I think the good mid ground here is Palafin, because if he stays in, I don't think they will stay in. They could, I mean, if they go into anything that isn't Miascarada, then that's nice. I am Zen Headbutt on this. So if they want to go Kelio, they would draw. Don't go Meowskarada. Meowskarada would be... They do go Okay. We go into this. We are going to sack off our... What's it called? Serena. And then we go Chi Yu. <laughs> um... I think I'm in a better position because I've got more sacks. You go flower trick. I don't know how much this will do actually because I'm bulky. <laughs> I'm annoyed because I took out some physical bulk and put in some special bulk to help with Landorus better. Um, And that physical bulk would have been really nice right now. Should I click synthesis here? They're debating whether they want to lose their Miascarada here. I will die. They will get the roll because that did 60 damage. A triple Axel. So no, they're not choice. They hit once. Oh my god! Okay, that's really incredibly rough for them. Um, Meow Skarada goes down. And we... What have they got left? Landorus, Enamorous, Keldeo. I think we go into this. If I had rocks up right now... I sack off Serena. That's the play. I sack Serena. You're physical. So Chi Yu kills you. Then you hit, which is good. Stops in the setup. So Enamorous kills Serena. Chi Yu comes in and claims a kill. dies. 3-0 for GU. Uh, Enamorous dies. So they've got Lando and Keldeo left. So I think GU is done now. Because I, I don't outspeed Landorus. And Keldeo is here to you know take this on so i'm i'm clicking i'm letting chi go down like I, you know i'd love to 
maintain differential and also have Chi Yu, like, you know, obliterate my opponent. <laughs> but, okay, so this, this is Torn. This is Torn, right? All day, every day. Did I keep Zen? Oh, please tell me I kept Zen Headbutt on Palafin. I did. Okay, good. So I Bleak Wind Storm. You sack this off, and as long as I hit one of the two, then Palafin wins. Here is where I could play for differential. That, that I think I've won. I've won the game because they either click rock slide. That they could click Earth Power here, right? And lock themselves in. No, they can't click Earth Power here because then they lose. They just flower lose. So I'm going to go into Clodsire, and I'm just going to keep clicking Liquidation. And I'm going to give Clodsire a kill. It could be Sludge Bomb. Yeah, they, they can't win. Clodsire wins. Um, I don't know if they're going to be like running here because they can't do anything. But and if this is where we find out you're not choice, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, you outsped. You outsped Torn. There's no way you're not choice. I'm glad I kept liquidation on this as well because that was literally here to stop this thing from being a free switch in every time <laughs> because Landorus was such an issue for me. The fact that they got one hit on Triple I, th I think I would have won this game with a battle. It was a game of attrition, right? I think I would have been able to outlive. I, I had more sacks to Meow Scarada than they had sacks to Chi Yi, basically, is what I'm trying to say here. Um, and Clodsai gets the kill. Clodsai getting, you know, making up for last week. Um, good game, endless. I'm really sorry about the hacks. Palafin not getting a kill in a game is wild. Um, Landorus. Killed Chi Yu and I won 3 Oh Yeah, I won 3 0. Nice. So that makes me 1 and 1 for the season and it gives me a plus 2 differential. Um, good game, Endless. Like I've said, the hacks screwed you over. As soon as Miascarada died, and the fact that I didn't get fully, fully powered there um, was huge. Although, saying that, the fact that. Oh no, you were a grass type, actually, so I couldn't come in and jet punch because if you were ice type, I could have just come in and jet punched you. But. Um, yeah, that triple axe on this kind of, or like, you know, only going one one time sucks. So, uh, good game. Um, I don't know who I'm playing next week, but uh, I, I still need to edit my week one together as well. Get that ready for Monday. So, um, this is Friday before. Um, I'm rambling. Thanks for watching, guys. And I look forward to seeing you for week three. Take care.